everyone, welcome to a sort of okay show about horses with uh, Buck and Kyle. Uh, we're here today at uh, my farm. We thought we'd sort of do a little bit of an educational thing on um, building a water jump and show you a little bit the project that we've been that we've been working on here at the farm. Um, and I know when I was building my first water jump correctly, I went and got a little bit more education than what I'd done previously, and it helped immensely. So thought we'd let you sort of see what um, you know a better way to do it than than probably most of us do the first couple of times so and that's probably why you brought me because I'm obviously an expert builder yes and um, so I was just gonna inspect a few things here and make sure that he's done it properly and the way that I would build things so um, hopefully uh, we got a few things we can work on but you know we'll have it done by the end of the show I think. <laughs> if we if you ever get an opportunity do you still have that jump that you showed me that time with the foam on it yeah. yes I have very safety conscious jumps at my place they last for a long time Beautifully built. I yeah. can be hired for uh, building jumps. I go over to Bucks one day and in the aisle he's got the first, I think, cross country jump he ever made and I swear my five year old could build a better jump but he would found construction or insulation foam at Lowe's and he's like, but look at this, look how cool this is and he's got it covered in this foam, all the corners where he didn't join them up correctly, it was awesome. So I'm glad that it's held up as well as you'd hoped it had. I wouldn't have jumped a single horse over it, even one I didn't like and I've got plenty of those. So See, I jump all my horses that I really like so if they actually hit it then they just nice it doesn't and hurt them and they feel good so. yeah we'll show you that someday this is my project at my place so there's no foam anywhere no. I can tell you that. <laughs> Look at that. you hit this and uh, it's not my building yeah so okay so this is the premise is right now we've got one water jump on our farm and in this backfield here we want to host some derbies and some competitions and also for schooling as much as I don't think every farm needs a water jump let alone two um, we do a lot of schooling here and we wanted to do and upgrade the water jump that we have so what we've done is we've added one back here um, and it's gonna do be dual purpose so as a water jump we've got with this setup entrances all the way around a diameter I think it's like 75 80 feet maybe it must be more than that actually because it's 13 feet on the bot 13 horse strides around the bottom we obviously leveled this out. If you'll just turn the camera and show, we're on the edge of a bowl in my in my um, back of our farm. Um, so we leveled out an area with a couple with pieces of heavy equipment and then also my tractor. And it took a while to get it right and laser level it out. Um, and then we came back and we put in this rubber liner under the whole over the whole thing, which I which is a reclaimed. It's a very thick liner. St very very sturdy rubber um, we got that from Re reclaimed materials out in Colorado I say their name because they take um, extra material from construction sites and they sell it at a real big discount so we got a very good deal on it but it's a great company because they actually they actually do the right thing and, and recycle material that that normally would be thrown out otherwise so the whole thing took a little bit to tape together and it was a bit of a pain to tape and um, tar the the seams together but we got it done stretched up on the sides it'll go up a little bit higher when we're done it'll probably go up about the height of this liner here we got a little more taping to do this was the first um, the next stage on it was to lay wire over the whole bottom part where the horses are going to travel and so there's underneath the concrete wire to help stabilize it and bind it together um, and then what we'll do is we'll put a little bit more wire up on the top there and a little bit more concrete and the reason the concrete we use the concrete is when I was up north we always did a lot water um, liners and then we put a, uh, a bit of sand or something and then a barrier and then um, stone dust on top of it. and the problem was is that barrier would often float to the top and I know they say they've improved it but it also doesn't protect the liner enough over a long period of time when you drive your tractor in here or heavy equipment here to do work you can go through those barrier cloths and I hate water jumps. I hate having to clean them. I hate having to rework them. Our first water jump on this farm out front, we filled it up maybe 12 times in 16 years off of building it like this. It's a little bit of an overbuild, but it, I hate redoing things. So it's been a, it was a right way to do it. Um, and I decided to do it here that way as well, even though the concrete is bloody expensive. So. Uh, we finally got around to getting the concrete on on the wire. The wire was laid down two days ago. The concrete we put it down yesterday morning. Um, it was a 
messy job. I actually had someone come in with a concrete pump and I continued to lay wire and tar, but they actually um, put the concrete out, which was nice to have someone else do that. Mark McCleary built my bank here, which is the retaining wall on the one side of the water jump. In the end, we're gonna be able to travel up the back side there. We'll show you that when it's done and we'll be able to jump logs on the mounds, which will be great for the horses to get them used to the idea of being surprised and not um, losing their focus on the jumps. We'll be able to jump off these banks, either up a ramp to a flat um, platform up and off this bank, or up a mound into a little bit more of a bank there. We've installed a drain in, a big four and a half inch, I think, drain. Um, which we dug in there so that because it's one problem I've got in my front water jump is it takes days to actually drain it This one will drain right out into our hollow there and we'll be able to drain the whole thing quite quickly We'll put a t-valve on the back that will be self-leveling And I'll show you that when we actually get it done But it'll also have an opening so we can just dump the whole thing in the middle of the in the middle of the water jump We're gonna have a bank so we can have um, do an up bank and off either a bank or a ramp out, or we'll just cover this whole thing. This will be an island, any, any way we look at it, it'll be an island to jump on and off of, um, put a little jump on top. I left it long enough this way so you could you know, pop up, jump a jump, land on top of it and down into the water. This way is a little bit more, more narrow, so we might put like a log on the edge of it. Uh, just, we'll keep configuring things out. So I'm pretty excited about how this is progressing. And All right, I think that's that enough, that's enough. Yep. I'm sure you don't care about building a water jump. And if you do, here's your man. But I think most of the people out there want to know how to get their horses fit and get the, what I think is really cool about this whole thing is the conditioning program in the water. And, um, you know, there's a lot of advantages to that, as we all know. And um, so I think you have something really cool here um, that not everybody has. And, um, you know, I'm sorry to say a lot of people have a water jump. And, um, you know, some people that really care about how, make, make, how to make it, then uh, again, like I said, he's your man. But this, there are some really cool stuff to this, um, this uh, instruction area. area that I'm here to inspect. And, um, you know, uh, to get these horses fit, especially here in Florida without the hills, um, I think it's a great idea and it's something that uh, is moving forward. And um, hopefully we'll keep horses sounder and last longer. Okay, well, what, years to come. what Buck's talking about is the actual premise, the reason I started this water jump, and as opposed to just using my front one, is I was conditioning and rehabbing horses in my front water jump, doing a lot of action work with them. And we used to do a lot in Canada in the snow, do a lot of fitness work up there. Um, I have a, a couple of theories on, on these things, and there aren't any hills down here in Florida, so getting their heart rate up is really <laughs> hard. You've got to run them very hard on the flat. We were going to tracks and doing conditioning. So what happened was I had done a lot of fitness work in water and talked to people who had used water for that. And I decided when I built this, the original plan was just to use it as a water jump when necessary. But actually we made it so it's 13 canter strides around so that we can canter in the water jump. And what's, what we've got, the reason I got such a big drain on this is what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to fill this up to about mid uh, forearm on a horse or just above the knee. I think that's the ideal place to have a horse to get them to actually have to use their back correctly. You can still be on the horse and lower their <laughs> back instead of when they're trotting in deeper water where they lift themselves and pull themselves through their shoulder in the water. So there's there's many theories I've got in, in going forward with this and one of them also is, is isolating muscle groups. So we're going to be able to put the water up to just above the knee and then we're going to be and be able to trot in it and then we're going to be able to lower it down to about a about a four inch well you can lower it to nothing but about four to six inches to get them used to pulling their feet out of the ground which would simulate mud which we never see in florida and that was the big prem the big um turning point for me was going to fair hill about three years ago i took some horses i'd only done down here and i said if it gets muddy there they've never learned how to draw their foot out of the ground and the, I, the muscles actually that pull the horse's legs out of the ground never have been actually used. And so at a disadvantage, I was trying to use the water jump to help them get that, that idea and isolate those muscle groups, but it wasn't quite big enough to do the work in. So I took this and the idea is, is that we should be able to actually canter in here, not gallop, you don't need to gallop in that, but canter them in a good shape with the bend around the inside and really get that action in all the joints and get that back muscle and, and the shoulder muscles working correctly and isolate the muscle groups depending on how deep we make this. So 
it is going to be open to um, us and the idea is that we actually are going to hopefully have um, heart rate monitors for the horses and be able to track your horse's heart rate in here and you can bring your horses and condition them in it um, when it's finished and we're the first thing that we'll be doing is actually conditioning horses um, here at the farm for us and um, I, th I, I mean I think it's going to I can't see how it won't work. I, since starting this, I've seen other places that have used, um, you know, long runs of water to condition horses. I've seen um, one arena that the people are able to flood a little bit. Uh, I, not, I can't afford that. I had to figure out a way to do it on my budget, and so this is what I came up with. And um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be great as an addition down here in Florida. I think it's going to, it would work almost anywhere, but. I'm going to be able to clean the water jump well um, because I'm going to be able to dump it quickly. And um, I, I think there's it, also other, you know, things that can come with it, not just the, the fitness aspect of it, but you know, like in uh, in Ireland, I know Willie Mullins has a, a thing that he walks his horses through. Um, Rebecca Curtis is in the, off the coast of Wales and just in Wales. Um, Karen Donkers uses the sea a lot, and they use the sea to cool the horses' legs down. They, um, you know, if they have any nicks or cuts or swelling or heat or whatever, and they take them in the water and just ride them in the water. And I think that this, um, you know, could become a little bit a cold water spa. I mean, I'm not an expert on building, but I'm pretty sure if you threw some ice in this thing, say, you know, <laughs> you can make. But there's a lot of there's a lot of therapeutic benefit to uh, to water training. Obviously, um, you don't have as much concussion when there's water, um, but just the, you know, the sanitizing is you know I know you're gonna keep this clean that's why you put this cement so you can clean this thing out and you've got a, a drain to drain all the junk out of here um, but it, I think that's another another way this place um, can be very useful yeah no I agree and and in the our research and our in the in the thinking about it and many many nights thinking about it um, you don't have much else to do yeah exactly and once I get stuck on something I can't stop and this was sort of there was a lot of and don't say yeah, exactly, yeah. and the, and the being able to isolate joint therapy, like hawk hawks that are sore, you can make a huge difference in the in how you how you work them by the levels of water that you put them in. And unfortunately, most places that you go to do water therapy, you're set at their height, you're set at their speed, you're set in little areas, or you're set where you can't ride them. And I think that's another thing: is as a rider, you can get on and actually position and. I mean, if you're any good, which Buck isn't, so it's exactly. not going to help him at all. Exactly. So, but I did have this idea actually a long time ago, and you can talk to Kathleen. I had this idea that I was going to build a stall that you could make them stand in ice water. Yeah. And so I, it was a great idea until I couldn't figure out how I would open the door and shut the door without the water going out. So um, it's called a ramp. <laughs> yeah, but then yeah. Anyway, needless to say, um, hopefully. Uh, water jump a bit better than my stall but I had an awesome idea so uh, well anyway we're gonna do we're go. gonna come back to this to this set and at a future show when we get a little further along and hopefully when it's finished and um, and we'll see what we do and the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, hook up a couple of horses with the next one maybe and have them ride around in here the pony that was out here a minute ago just laughed so that's too bad we could have had it to uh, trot on this and then we're gonna have a pole in the middle and we're gonna have wakeboarding around the outside yeah and so they're gonna be wakeboarding competitions here on Friday nights for anybody and that would before like. we put the gravel down there's a skateboard uh, park there you go and if you can jump over that mound there you get a free skateboard exactly there you go and otherwise, anyway. you sue Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's sort of the idea here. Um, Buck's got some, he said in the last show, you had some interesting news for us. Tell us. Yeah, so um, uh, my uh, great horse, Reggie, um, has been taken care of for his whole life by uh, Kathleen Blau. And uh, Rolex Kentucky has been uh, very kind and uh, has allowed Kathleen to do the test ride at Kentucky next year on Reggie. So Thursday morning next year. Um, Kathleen will be out there with Reggie and then we're going to retire him on Sunday afternoon and uh, she's been such a big part of his life and <clears throat> he is the all-time winningest horse in this country and uh, you know my name is going to be there because every point he has is with me. Seagulls have been there the whole time um, but the one that hasn't been on you know everybody knows the reason the horse has been so successful is because of Kathleen and um, so she is going to also do some uh, events this winter on him to hopefully gain at least some kind of some point so that she'll always be on his record and uh, can't thank her enough for everything she's done for him and uh, for the seagulls obviously and um, 
has been a great team and family, and um, <clears throat> I'm excited. And so we're going to also uh, show Kathleen's journey to Kentucky uh, on the show. So uh, that's going to be awesome. Well. Yeah, to follow. So uh, she deserves it, and uh, I know, uh, <clears throat> and I'll be a great room for Kathleen. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> she won't let you. I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, and the cool thing with that is she's been, like you said, she's been there the whole way, and so that's been how many years is that like? She's been with me for like 15, and so Reggie's been, I think Reggie's been here for like 11. Yeah, so, so she's been involved in this for 15 years, and she gets to she gets to go and ride down the center line at Rolex as a as a rider um, because of her efforts and all of the work she's done. And I just think that is, I mean, that's great from your for from the Seagulls and from you and for her because she is so deserving of it and it's just nice to see and you know that's when the people are complaining about what's you know oh, i have to do work so hard and stuff it's like just keep working good things happen to those people who work and she is a hell of a worker and yeah she's a great girl and um <clears throat> i have to give credit to uh, matt keener and um, his fly pops organization that um <clears throat> with the idea uh for this and um you know i always wanted the the event thing but uh, matt actually had the idea of the uh test ride so um, it's <clears throat> it's really exciting and uh, I know Kathleen's excited and um, we'll uh, maybe we'll get Kyle to give her some lessons yeah and finally the horse will do well and we'll pull her in maybe next week and uh, have her have, you know, have her give, Kyle. have her give her perspective <laughs> all right thanks a lot for joining in and we'll see you next week